Chrome OS 117 is here and as always I'll show you the best new features and what else you need to know about the latest Chrome OS update. So be sure to stay tuned until the end so you don't miss any important Chrome OS 117 info. Let's start with the most obvious new feature because with Chrome OS 117 Google is finally rolling out its new material you design concept to Chromebooks. As a reminder, as I already showed in my Chrome OS 113 video, Google is making some tweaks to the user interface of Android and Chrome OS that should allow for a much more customized user experience. While you still had to enable Material U in the experimental flag since Chrome OS 113, the new design concept is now available for everyone with the update to Chrome OS 117 without having to make any additional settings. This becomes clear when you click on the quick settings in the lower right corner, for example, Google has said goodbye to the round icons and now relies on differently shaped elements that do not look so squashed. Another new feature is that you can not only shut down the Chromebook or log out as usual by clicking on the icon in the lower left corner of the quick settings, you now also have the option to restart your Chromebook with one click. Another new feature of the Material You theme is that you can now not only select the background image and screensaver with a right click on the desktop via set background and style but also have different accent colors for the buttons to choose from. If these accent colors are not enough for you, you can also select color palettes that match the background and thus further customize your Chrome OS. Chrome OS 117 also marks the beginning of the Android 13 rollout, which means that the Google Play Store and the apps will also be converted to Material U bit by bit. The official Google announcement also reports that you can now use GIFs in the emoji picker with Chrome OS 117 sounds like a pretty cool feature, but this function has not yet found its way into my Chrome OS 117. The fact that you can quickly add not only emojis but also GIFs to your texts with the simple key combination shift, search and spacebar is not just a nice gimmick in my opinion, but a really cool added value if you use chat tools, for example. Another useful feature has been integrated into the Google Calendar and Chrome OS, because if an appointment has been set as a Google Meet video call, you can join the video call with a click on join. Speaking of video, if you're one of those who record videos with their Chromebook camera, you can now enjoy a time-lapse feature on video recordings. If your Chromebook is using the camera or microphone, you'll see a new toolbar in the bottom right corner. Here you can turn off the camera or microphone with one click. If you click on the arrow pointing upwards, you will also have new functions such as noise reduction, improved exposure or you can activate a blurred background. If you use the extended clipboard via search and V, you can not only paste the last copied element as usual, but also get a better preview and information about what you copied last, for example, whether it is text or certain screenshots. In addition, Chrome OS 117 now officially introduces the adaptive charging feature, although you still need to activate the flag. Hashtag adaptive charging. You can now extend the lifespan of your Chromebook. Adaptive charging allows the Chromebook to learn your usual usage behavior and tries to keep the battery level of your Chromebook as close to 80% as possible to prevent the battery from being permanently overcharged at 100%. This conserves battery power and keeps your Chromebook's battery life high over the long term. This is especially valuable because Google has recently significantly increased update timeframes for Chromebooks and you'll now be able to use both existing and new Chromebooks for much longer again. If you want to know all about the longer life of Chromebooks, click on the video to the left now. If you want to see my Chromebook tutorial with lots of helpful tips and tricks for your Chromebook purchase, click on the right video now and I'll say thanks for watching and see you in the next video.